What's good, shit tubers? This is King. I leave it Royalty Concepts TV. Another sneaker review. Actually, a double sneaker review. I got the Nike Penny Fives in the Blue Chips colorway and the Invisibility Cloak colorway as well. Um, found out about these first. I heard about these first. I seen them on Instagram. Pictures leaked. Wasn't sure if it was just somebody posting the 2013 version of the shoe or if they were bringing the shoe back. And what kind of I'm not too surprised about this release, just off the fact that I think just a few years ago, man, they were doing grade school versions of this shoe. Like they revamped them and did like grade school version of the shoe, which was crazy to me. Like, why would you bring the grade school version of that shoe back, but not the men's? <clears throat> um, I'm assuming they sold pretty well um, in grade school. That is, I know they sold good in men's a few years ago, and that was. Um, the original release on these was 2013, somewhere around 2013. And um, yeah, they back, man. They, um, it's technically a, it's a retro, almost a decade. So yeah. But anyway, let's get into the review. I'm gonna start with the cloaks. The cloaks are my favorite. Colorway reads. If it zooms in, let me try that again. Come on, man. Come on, work with me. Work with me. Come on, work with me. Oh, this is some BS today, man. Black Atomic Till, purple. I'm assuming it's just too much light in here. I mean, you can see, like, the glares on everything else, but it's way too much light up in here. But anyway, here we go. Actually, let me turn on the flash for this. I really, guys, really want you guys to get that iridescent. And look at that iridescent. That's that atomic tail you see right there. Switch it from basically the green. And like basically if I like turn around, let me see if it works. Really can't tell. But like if I put it at an angle, you can see that it's completely purple right here. It just really depends on the angle. But these things shift colors like crazy, man. You got that atomic tail on the back logo on the tongue uh, left foot says part two heaven sitting on the pull tab and the right foot says the storm is over inside reads balling is what I was born to do and it has a signature same as the 2013 model the only thing I will say that may be different is this the coat that they use for this uh Iridescent paint is wet, like much more shinier. And the bottom glows in the dark as well. Uh, it's a very faint glow. It doesn't glow as bright as it should or as it could. Uh, I think that's mainly due to the bottom, the midsole. The bottom of the midsole is just completely black. If they would have made it white, this would be much brighter. But uh, it doesn't really glow that that well. It's back at the left foot. Medial side has that atomic till Nike check. Very beautiful shoe, man. Uh, I do believe these are going now on finishline.com. Jimmy Jazz may have them. I think Jimmy Jazz may still have these uh, in store. I know they were in store. Online, I didn't check online, so you might want to check jimmyjazz.com if you are interested in buying these. The sizing, I would say, I'm an 11 and a half, 12. The 12 fits just right, like just, just to a point where it's not uncomfortable. Uh, I technically, typically, I wouldn't, I, I don't wear size 13s. I feel like if I got to wear 13 in the shoe, I just won't get it. Uh, the Kyrie's are one of those shoes. I have the uh, Oracle Aquas, but I might be getting rid of those, man, just because it's that 12 is that 12, a size 12 in that feels like a size 11. And um, I know they do have size uh, 12 and a half on like maybe Nike.com, but I'm not going to go through all that. But anyway, man, that's the invisibility cloaks. And for all the newcomers, you probably heard about it. Back in the day, I think the Kobe 7, was it the Kobe 7, I think? It was the Kobe 7. The Kobe 7, I think, came out maybe a few months prior to this release. 
and they had the same uh, iridescent look on it. The whole upper had this iridescent look. Now, on to the blue chips. Pick these up today. And I don't know what's going on with the release date on the blue chips, but um, I've seen them in a few Foot Locker stores here. And some of the stores don't have them on the shelf. But they do have them in stock. So I pretty much, I just asked for this. The guy went to the back. He didn't make a big deal of it. He gave them to me. But these are very, very cold. This is like, they very, like, this is a very subtle shoe. Very clean. The white looks nice on this. They went like with a metallic white on this portion of the midsole. Got the clear outsole. <clears throat> that one cent logo with the blue, white, and yellow. That black carbon fiber plate. That fuse upper. Same as the other one. But th with this one, you can see the colors a little bit more. A fat match unit on the heel. My only problem with this shoe is that it didn't have anything in the forefoot. I mean, at 160 bucks, they should have had something in the forefoot. At least an air unit. I mean, pennies. <clears throat> pennies usually, especially back in the day, pennies shoes always had zoom in the forefoot. Always had zoom in the forefoot. And a match unit. But for the most part, it was always zoom. The penny one, two, three, four, five. Well, this is the five. Uh, one, two, three, four. The phone posits had full limp zoom so I mean it's whatever I like the model I like the silhouette so it wasn't a big they're not uncomfortable but you know you could have had some in there Nike you got the thick rope laces yellow inner lining and what's different about these I almost forgot to mention you got the number 22 and that's the number of the jersey that he wore in the movie and then it says class of 94 so yeah that movie came out in 94 I believe so. We got 22 on that hill as well, and it says balling was up. Balling is what I was born to do as well on the right foot. And if I turn off the flash, you'll see that the Nike check is yellow as well. Yeah, the Nike check reflects. So, really in love with these, really in love with the Penny Fives. Really happy that Nike decided to bring these back. Uh, looking forward to other colorways dropping. I'm hoping they dropped the dolphin colorway. That colorway was sick. That aqua with the orange and white. That colorway was nice as hell. And I'm hoping they dropped that uh, total crimson one with the black bottom. I had those, but <clears throat> I dogged them out. And uh, I just decided, I know you've seen them in the video. I decided to bring these out. Show these off real quick. These are still dead stock. I haven't worn them at all. Got these like what three years ago? Still factory lace. Same color as the blue chips. The blue on the blue chips is a little dark. It's called let me see what is it called? It's called uh bright blue yellow streak. But it's it's pretty much warrior blue. But this is another 90s shoe that I love. I love these. The original colorway, the black red with the yellow laces, I loved them. So yeah, then though these are the air, the air bakers for those of you that don't know. But that's it, man. I'm about to wrap this video up. I'm almost close to 10 minutes. And that's pretty much it. Like I say, these are at Foot Locker. Check your local Foot Lockers. Ask about them. They should be on sh shelves by the end of the month. These are pretty much wiped out. I would say just check again, Jimmy Jazz. Um I haven't checked detail law. I'm not sure. Let me throw the flash back on. I haven't checked Jimmy Jazz. No, I'm sorry. I haven't checked detail law, so they might have them. Usually, detail law gets shoes like this, but these were definitely uh, limited, from what I understand. So I'm really happy about those. Can't wait to wear those this summer. Can't wait to pull these out. Uh, probably be going after each colorway that comes out this year. If I don't go after it, it has to be like horrendous looking but for the most part i love the penny five and just a quick um just some quick knowledge man the guy that designed the penny fives he also designed the penny six which is that red and white one up top you see he um he did the pippin six he did the 
Barkley posits that came out some years ago. He also did the Chuck posit, which is the second version of that shoe. And he did the Nike Zoom Rookies. Um, I'm pretty sure he did the Nike Zoom Rookie. And um, him and two other guys from Nike end up leaving. And they went over to Adidas. I forgot for what reason. But um, I hate that that particular designer left, man. Because he was really killing it with the the OG players. Like, you know, the old school guys, man. And revamping their shoes. And I wish Nike would go back to that. But, you know, it is what it is. But um, I appreciate y'all watching. Also, royaltyconcepts.com. Right now it says royaltyconcepts.bigcartel.com. I will be changing it, but if you go to my IG, which is King Ali underscore 82, that's K I N G A L I underscore 82, the link is in my bio. This is what I've been working on. This is like my master plan right here. The twerk here, jogger shorts. Getting ready for the summertime, guys, and this right here is like nobody's done this. I've checked online, I checked on IG, Facebook, all that shit. Nobody's done this yet. I've seen it on T-shirts, but not like this. And um, I'm about to take advantage of this shit, man. This is my new design, Turk here. Um, we'll have custom colors in this. Probably do like some South Beach colors, uh, just whatever. Man. I'm gonna do like random colors on this. I got a, a glow in the dark version that I'll be doing. I have a reflective version that I'm doing. I'm putting them on joggers, but most for the most part, I'm doing the jogger shorts right now. Got the logo on the back, Royalty Concepts. So be on the lookout for these. These will be going for like around, and it's a quality short, short too, so these will be going for like 35 bucks. So just stay tuned with that. Like I said, go over to my IG, King Ali underscore 82. And uh, if you are interested... <clears throat> Just shoot me a DM, and I'll take care of you. But that's it, man. I'm up out of here. About to go enjoy the weekend. It's All-Star Weekend. What are you guys doing? Uh, I think the dunk, dunk contest is tonight, so. About to get my ass up out of here. Probably go to a bar. I can go catch that. But that's it, man. Uh, one more question. What did you guys get? Did anybody, did you guys get any uh, of the All-Star releases? Did you get the Kyrie, the trophies? Uh, I think the LeBron Monsters came out like on a Thursday it was. Those sold out quickly. And I think uh, those threes I heard are still sitting. Those threes are still sitting, so I might be trying to go after those. I, I've never owned a pair of retro threes, so I will be going after those probably if they're still out there. But that's it, man. I'm about to here. Appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video... Like it, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. I'm going to try to keep these videos coming, man, all year long, moving forward. Uh, again, appreciate you guys watching. I'm out of here. Peace.